Hi, Jessica Levy here with My Fit Life Now. I'm in my yard and I'm so excited to film this dumbbell workout for you guys. We're gonna be doing two exercises back to back and then having a quick break before we go into our next set. Um, for this one, you're definitely gonna need a set of dumbbells, but you could, if you're at home, use a couple of water bottles for your weight as well. Uh, you just won't get as good of a workout because there is a lot of upper body with this and the heavier weight, the um, harder the exercise will be. So we're gonna do 50 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have warmed up first. And we're gonna get going in 10 seconds with our first exercise. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells, you're gonna come into a squat, and then as you come out of the squat, you're gonna swing your arms up. So you're gonna come down and then swing it back up. Make sure that you're sitting the weight back into those heels. So squat back, power up with those arms. So when you come down, make sure that you're not rounding the spine. So you're sitting the hips back and that back stays straight. So there's a lot of core control with this. Also make sure that your knees are not rolling in like this. I'm gonna open up those knees when you come into that squat. Lots of power with those arms, but look, don't let them swing way far back like this because you're hurt your shoulders. So you're gonna end right in front here. 20 seconds, stay strong and controlled here. So just keep an eye on your knees. Make sure that they're not going in front of your toes here. We got five seconds left. Let's get in one more. Good, and drop those arms. So for the next one, you're gonna hinge. Back is straight, shoulders are down and back. And we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna roll one up one side and then come and roll the other side. Squeezing the back of the shoulders and right in between those shoulder blades, you wanna squeeze those shoulder blades together. Again, don't let those knees roll in. Open those knees to the side. Abs are turned on and tight here. You really wanna feel the back work here. So you got your low and mid back working to support your body here as it's bent over. And you got your upper back working as we lift our arms. And exhale as you pull. Really tighten into the lower abdominals. Make sure you're not tucking into the pelvis here. Last two, last one. Okay, so we're gonna go right into round two here. So get set up again. Actually, maybe I'll do this one from the side as well so you can see my form in three, two, one. Take it down to the squat and power up. So that weight is coming back into my heel and my power is coming from my glutes. So when I come up, I push through the ground or the floor and use that to power up. So I'm activating the backside of my legs to come up out of the squat here. And again, we're not rounding that spine. That spine is staying long. We're really using our core. 15 seconds. Good, you're almost there. Let's go, two more. One more. Okay. So you let those arms rest for a moment before we bend over again. That first exercise really gets that heart rate up because you got a lot of big movement happening there. Let's bend, abs are tight, squeeze. So again, my weight is in my heel here. That allows me to get those hips back. Watch what happens when I put my weight forward. You see how my knees come forward there? So I cut that weight back. That means I have to use my abs a lot more to stop me from losing my balance. Upper back, squeeze. My neck is long, I'm not tucking in through the chin here. My shoulders are down and back. Great job, you guys. Again, don't forget to squeeze the core. The last few seconds, let's get two more. One more. Okay. First round is done. You guys can grab a quick drink and then I'll demo what's next. Okay, so 
The next one here, we're gonna go into dead left. So we're gonna hinge at those hips, and then we're gonna come back up, and then we're gonna bring those elbows up to shoulder height. After that one, put one weight down, we're gonna go into jacks. So as we jump the feet out, our arm, arms go up, and then we're gonna come together with the feet, and the arms come back down. We'll get started in 10 seconds here. Okay, so the first one, again, we're not rolling and rounding through the back, because that's gonna hurt our back. So shoulders down and back, back is straight. Hinge, let those weights come to just below the knees. Come up, and then lift the elbows. So I'm really using my abs when I lean forward to help my back here. Okay, you can see I have a soft knee. I'm not locked in the legs, my knee is soft. A soft knee, squeeze the glutes. Now the other thing is watching the arms. Okay, you don't wanna pull those wrists. Those wrists need to stay neutral. Elbows are going wide to the side. I'm gonna come forward so you guys can see what this looks like forward now. So watch my elbows, they're high. Good, all the way up, squeeze the glutes, lift through the shoulders. Let's go one more. And lift, okay, one weight's gonna go down. Unless you're feeling super strong, you could do both. So right here when the feet are together, and then when our feet are apart, that weight goes up. Ready, and go. So there is a low impact version for this. This is low impact, so just step. So my elbows are tucked in rather than going wide and I'm staying on the ball of my foot here. So I'm not really coming into my heels at all. My abs are staying strong. Focusing on my breath. Now, if you want to take this a little bit more into an advanced move, you can come wide. Okay, and I like more of a jump squat. How are we doing? We got 10 seconds to go. So you should be really feeling those shoulders by now. Last three, two, one. Good, oh, definitely feeling my quads on that one. All right, let's get set up for your deadlifts. I'll start at the side again. Shoulders down and back, back is straight. We hinge, knees are soft. And pull. So watch my pull, when I pull it up, Pull my shoulders down and back. Okay, I'm hinging, abs strong, shoulders down and back. Take this into four counts. Okay, so your hinge is one, so this is one. Your lift is two, arm lift is three, and drop is four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, we got five seconds. Okay, one weight down. So three options for this one. You guys choose what is best for you and your body. Ready, here we go. Push. So we got strength with the arms. But this is definitely a cardio move. Good news, this is the only one where we're like this. The only one that we're jumping. Just gonna focus on keeping my rhythm here. Try not to slow down or change anything during this 50 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds to go. How are you guys doing with this one? This one is definitely challenging for me. 10 seconds, let's go and push. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we made it through two rounds. You're in break. A little bit of a breeze here. Feels nice. That was a long beeper. Yes, we know we're on break. <laughs> okay, so. One weight for this next set. You're gonna start with one leg back, and you're gonna be coming up and down in a lunge, okay? So we're gonna be turning and twisting 
and then back to center and then back up. So down and twist. When the buzzer goes, we switch legs, okay? All right, let's we'll start in 10 seconds here. I'll go this way so that way when I'm turning, I'm turning towards you guys. So we're gonna come down and twist. Okay, so lunge, twist, and then come up. So when you go down into your lunge, you wanna make sure your knee is right in line with that ankle. Okay, and when you have that back leg, it's gotta be, that's too far forward. It's gotta be right in line with that hip, okay? I want you to be able to wiggle your toes in that front foot. That means that your weight is in the heel. When you come up, squeeze through the glute and make the backside of that leg work. Now, if you want this harder for the arms, you're gonna put them in front of you, in front and rotate. Okay, just adds a little bit more weight. You should really feel those obliques. Your shoulders are down, they're not up. Okay, so turn in the other way. So you can see all I did was just keep my feet in the same spot, but I rotated the other way. Okay, so I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna turn. So again, watch that alignment. Front knee in line, back knee underneath that hip. Okay, I'm not leaning forward, but I'm staying upright. All right, so come down, twist, squeeze the core, come up. Chest stays up. We're pushing through that front heel. Okay, you should be able to wiggle your toes when you're down in that lunge. Oh, holding those lunges, I can definitely feel that burn. Okay, you wanna find your glutes here because those quads are working really hard. So pushing through the heel as you come up, squeezing through that backside. All right, this is our last one. And we turn. 10 second break. All right, I'm not gonna be holding the lunges this time because I'm definitely feeling my quads work when I'm holding those lunges, so I'm just gonna go through it now. I'm down and I twist. Fire up those glutes. So, if you're not thinking about all the things that you have to do, it's really easy to do an exercise wrong or miss some of the muscle groups that I want you to target. Okay, so if your weight is in the toes and you're only feeling your quads, you're not activating into the glutes. So to find those glutes, that glute here on the outside is also responsible for the balance. So the stronger your hips are, the better your balance is gonna be coming, become. Okay, we're almost there. Last one. All right. Okay, find that balance. Get that heel down into the ground. Here we go. Find those glutes. Okay, so enough talking about the legs. Let's focus on that upper body. I want you to find your abs. So when we come into that twist, now, okay, you should feel the core fire up. Shh. Feeling stable in through the legs here. Shh. All right, over the halfway mark on this side. This is burning. Remember, if it's too much with the shoulders, you can keep that weight close to the body here and still get the benefit of the abs and the twist. Okay, if you wanna work those arms a little bit more, that weight comes out. All right, great job. We've now finished three rounds. We've got two left. One more quick drink. Hopefully you guys are getting in lots of water at home right now. Okay, so our legs are quite pooched from that last set. This is all focused on upper body. So we're gonna come back into this bent over position and we're gonna take the elbows wide. Okay, so they're out to the side. I want you to think of a soccer net. Okay, or a goalie net or something. So our elbows aren't in, they're out and they're wide. So that's the position for the first one. The second one, hold the weights together, take them overhead, 
and we're going into triceps. I'm gonna get started in 10 seconds here. So getting into position, your feet are about shoulder width apart. We hinge through those hips. I'm not tucking through, okay? My back is flat. Exhale, pull and let go. Your abs are strong and tight here too. Neck is long. Now, if you're up here and doing it, you're gonna be getting more of the traps. So get that chest low. I want you to squeeze the back of those shoulders. So this is one of my weakest muscle groups. Um, eight pounds is definitely my max. Now, if you're starting to feel like your back is doing all the work and your abs are not um, cooperating and working with you, split your stance and see if that helps. Okay, we got five seconds. One more here. All right, standing up, weights are together. You have a little bit more control this way. Now, if your weight is too much, okay, then you can put one weight down and do it with one. All right, whatever you can do. So you can see my elbows are up and then I push and extend. Now I'm not in my hips like this. So I'm standing neutral through those hips and I'm pushing those arms straight up. My elbows are in, they're not out to the side. Extend and push. So we're gonna exhale as we push that up. Inhale as it comes back down. Blow it out. When I fully extend, my elbows are not locked. They're still a little bit soft. Okay, what that means is that they're not extended to their max. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Do what you can. The other thing is don't let the shoulders creep up. Okay, this is the shoulders creeping up. We wanna keep those shoulders down. Last one. Whew. Definitely feeling that. Okay, that was heavy for me. Round two. Three, two, one. Here we go. Bend it over. Exhale, pull. Now, the other thing I noticed too, look at my wrist here. See how I'm curling it under? You wanna keep your wrist in neutral when you finish the movement. My shoulders are away from my ears. So they're pulled back. I'm really squeezing into my abs. I'm not letting my knees come in. My knees are open. My weight is mostly in my heel and the ball of my foot. I have no weight in my toes. Again, I can wiggle my toes right now. 15 seconds. I'm going very slow and controlled with this one because this is hard for me. Definitely weaker on one side than the other as well. Almost there. One more. Okay, 10 second break and then we're going into those triceps. All right, weights are together. Bring them up overhead and then drop and push. The nice thing too, if you have two dumbbells is that your dominant arm doesn't take over. If you're holding just one dumbbell, your dominant arm is gonna do most of the work just cause it's stronger and that's how it knows how to work. So again, elbows stay pointing up. If you start doing this and dropping the elbows down, that becomes a shoulder press. Okay, so we gotta keep those elbows high. Whew. Whew. I got 15 seconds. My arms are burning. Whew. I've got this though. A couple more here. All right, we're on our last tricep extension. Push, good, all right. This is our last break. One more set of exercises to go. All right. Okay, so for our last set, we're gonna do curtsies. So um, I'll have the dumbbells in my hand. I'm just gonna hold them. I'm gonna step from one side to the next. Make sure when you're doing your curtsy that again, your weight is back. Because if it's forward, you're gonna be like this. Okay, that puts a lot of pressure onto the knee. So when you come into the curtsy, you wanna sink those hips back so your weight is in your heel. And then after that, calf raises with a bicep curl. All right, you can do this. 10 seconds, we're gonna start. So for the curtsies, I'm just gonna hold my weights here. 
Then we're gonna go from one side to the next. I want you to think about hip stabilization for this. So when you come down, you shouldn't feel shaky in that leg like this. So when you come down, nice and firm, squeeze the muscles around that hip. Give the inner thighs a squeeze. Go slow and controlled for a few so you can really feel what is happening in the body here. Now I'm stepping far enough back that I have space for my leg for when I come down. My front knee is following the same way as my toes. Oh, I just ended up with a leaf on my knee. Oops. If you find that you're losing your balance, just take your time, go a little bit slower. By having the weights here, you're gonna feel those arms work too. Shh. Definitely weaker on my left side than my right. Okay, so I'm gonna come down. So when we lift up into our calf raise, we're gonna twist and curl. And I wanna come back down. Okay, shoulders are down and back. Twist and curl, I come up and drop. So calf raises are definitely balance exercise. Uh, I want you to go slow, as slow as you can. We're exhaling as we come up. We're inhaling as we come back down. So my palms start facing in here, and when I finish, my palms are facing to me. All right. Now adding in one more thing with these, squeeze the glutes. See if you can see, I'll turn around. Okay, when you come up, squeeze. Okay, make those glutes work. All right, one more. Okay, two more minutes left and we are done. So finding my footing again for those curtsies. All right, here we go. Stabilization. So stay focused with what's happening around that hip. Squeezing through the core as well. And I really want you to make the glutes fire up with this one. So when you're coming up, pressing through the ground. Okay, get that activation. Fire up the glutes every time you come up. Shoulders are down and back. All right, just under 20 seconds to go. Last 10 seconds. Back muscles are engaged so the triceps or so the shoulders don't rise up. And last one. All right. So if you find that you're holding your shoulders like this, just pull them back. Pull them back, pull them down. All right. Curl. Let it go. Curl. And let it go. Exhale. All right, are you guys squeezing your glutes? Glute squeeze. Here we go. Okay, final 30 seconds of work. You guys made it through. This is a pretty good blend of upper body and lower body with this dumbbell workout. I like getting in full body workouts. Okay, 15 seconds. Let's see how many more we can do. Remember, keep that control in your calf raises. Don't let the body swing with those arms. Maintain that control. All right, two more. One more time. And just like that, we have finished our dumbbell workout. Great job, you guys. Thanks for joining in. Make sure you do a full body stretch after this one. You really need it. Have an awesome, awesome day.